In 1906, a tragic accident pushed a representative of the Pennsylvania Railroad to find a more efficient way to communicate to journalists. Ivy Lee created the first press release to help tell the railroad side of the story to the media. Over the years, large companies have followed Ivy's lead and used the press release to tell their story to the media in the hopes that they would pass the information on to the general public. The format of the original press release was static and one-dimensional. Press releases were transmitted through proprietary closed networks to reach only journalists who controlled distribution of the news. But then everything changed. The Internet provided the opportunity for anyone to find, access, and create information all over the world. As the Internet's popularity grew, more and more people began to get their news online when and where they wanted it, and traditional media began to decline. So companies started to ask the question, how do we get in front of the millions of people who get their news online every day? And PR Web answered by posting their press releases online for the world to see, using keywords to help make them easier to find in search engines, inserting hyperlinks to connect them to the World Wide Web, adding images, video, and audio to capture the reader's attention. And we didn't stop there. PR Web was the first to use RSS feeds to distribute news directly to people who wanted it, and the first to include social bookmark tags to make it easy for a new generation of influencers to help spread the news. Now we're seeing the walls between people and information begin to crumble. Creating news is no longer limited to large companies with big budgets, but open to anyone with a computer and a powerful story to share. Press releases are no longer just used to reach the media, but a way to deliver news to the world. We've changed the game. PR Web, the original online news service.